Hey guys, here's another video, and today we'll be talking about top 10 Slogan Man video games. Not video games, sorry, mini games. If you don't know what that is, um, a Slogan Man mini game is if I said number one would be Gmod, then that wouldn't be correct. It would be more like Gmod Pass the Ball or something, or if I said Fortnite or Fortnite Murder Mystery. Like a mini game is uh, something you can do inside the main game. So that's what my uh, that's what a mini game is, and so now let's get right into the video. Coming in at number ten is Slogoman Fortnite board games. The reason why I put it on this list is because he like likes to make real board games into Fortnite. Like he did a Monopoly one and a bingo one. I really think those are really creative and fun. And when I watch those, I just have such a good time watching them. And they're just such such fun to watch. And hopefully you guys check it out because I really do enjoy them. I think you will too. Coming in at number nine, we have Gmod Pass the Ball. Uh, pass the ball. So what that is is okay. Pro pass the ball. Pass the ball is where there's three of you and one of you spawns with the ball, and then there's a five-minute count counter, and the la the person who has the ball in the end of the five minutes explodes, and you practically don't want to be the person who explodes. So that's kind of how that works. And I really do enjoy this because it's so fun watching the three of them run around trying not to get hit by the ball. And it's really fun because I really don't like it when Slogan Man loses. But so I kind of get nervous sometimes, hopefully, when he when he um, is about to blow up. So hopefully you guys check this out because I know you guys are going to really like it. Come in at number 8, we have Slogan Man Minecraft Guess Who. Guess who? Alright, so I really like this because if you guys don't, don't know what this is, if Jelly's the hunter, Slogo and Craner will have to blend in with other villagers or other mobs, and then they'll also be that mob, and they have to blend in and try not to get caught. So I really enjoy this because I feel like it's just so unique, and they actually made this mini game themselves, and it exists already, and they made it themselves. So I feel like that's such a cool thing, and I really think it's so fun to watch. So like when you also um, kill one, if like you find the right person, they go on your team and is also a hunter. So this is definitely going to make a spot on my list because it's really fun and hopefully you guys check it out. So coming in at number 7, we have GTA Cars vs. Runners. For this, this is my first out of 3 GTAs I have. Because actually his GTA minigames are really fun to watch. So with this, there's a little tightrope or like a little like platform going through the middle. And then the cars have to like drive through and try to hit them off. And then so practically they have to hit them off before he makes it to the end of the area. And this is so fun to watch. You guys should really check it out. But if you see anything that's four years and above ago, um, if you don't want to see anything inappropriate or any swearing, then do not go on that because things that are four years and above for him do have uh, swearing. So this is a really fun game mode and overall I just really enjoy watching him do it. Coming in at number six, we have GTA, GTA 5, GTA 5, Planes vs. Snipers. This is probably one of the um, best ones he's done because um, it's just so fun. Like this one, this is a really fun one to watch. Like you have to stand on a platform and you have a sniper, and then the plane, the people in the planes have to hit you off the platform before the sniper blows up the plane. So you guys should definitely check this out. But again, don't watch anything inappropriate because that'd be four years before. Well, if you don't want to watch anything inappropriate, don't check out anything four years before. So with this, um, it's really fun. 
and your hair on the edges you see sometimes when you're watching this because sometimes the planes are so cl oh my god the planes are so close to hitting you off and it's just so fun and it can it kind of gets you nervous sometimes and it's just one of his best um, types of mini games and we're moving on to number five yes number five last GTA it's GTA Derby demolition Derby. With this, there's a giant hole. There's like a giant ring, and in the middle of it, there's a hole. So with this, you have to, uh, both teams have cars, and you have to hit each other into the hole. My favorite version of this is a windmill derby because when you're like driving around trying to hit each other off, there's windmills that can actually hit you off. So you're driving around, and you like one time Craner almost fell off, but he barely made it. But then the windmill hit him off the map. So it's really fun because it can be really unexpected sometimes. And this is definitely my favorite GTA minigame. Next up, we got some Fortnite stuff now. Fortnite Snitch Hide and Sneak. Snitch. Snitch Hide and Sneak. So with this, it's um, like hide and seek, except for when you find the hider, you can give them a chance to live. So if you say snitch, you can um, like have them snitch on another of their teammates, and if they show you, if they can find uh, another hider in 10 seconds or maybe a little bit more than that, they get to live. So that's what snitch hide and seek is, and I used to binge this series so much. So coming in with at number four, you know. Um, Number three, we have Fortnite, Simon Says. In Fortnite, Simon Says, practically Sloka Man or Jelly is the person who says Simon Says, or Simon Says This, Simon Says That, and if the person doesn't do what they need them to do, or does something, like if they say jump, but they didn't say Simon Says Jump, and they jump, then they will, he will kill them, and the last person standing wins. So practically, the person doesn't fall for everything. So that's kind of how that works. And I used to binge these three Fortnite stuff. I'm about to say three Fortnite mini games. I'm about to say so much. I used to binge these so much, and it was just so fun. Next up, we have the last Fortnite one coming in at number two. We have Fortnite Murder Mystery. So Murder Mystery is like Among Us, except for there's a detective. So the detective has to find and kill the murderer, and the murderer has to kill everyone. And so then I lo love watching this, and I've been through this so much, and I love it when Slogan Man's the murderer, because he's so good at acting like he's um, innocent. One time he had the same skin as him, because everyone's the same skin, and then there was, two, there was one last person who's the sheriff, and he got the skin to do... He said that um, he was jumping up and down, and he he was pretending to act like he was the other person. So the detective shot the innocent, and then Slogan Man just shot the detective. And so then I feel like that was that was so smart, and I think that it's just so fun to watch him play as detective and murder. And it's overall just really fun to watch. You should really check this out. Number one is actually probably you guys probably wouldn't think this because I don't really like him playing Minecraft that much. But number one is actually Minecraft. Minecraft Troll Wars. So if you guys are wondering what this is, um, it's practically where they were inside their Slogan hack inside Jelly's world and they started trolling other. So then I actually made a more deep, uh, I made a deeper video into this earlier. And if you don't really know much about the Troll Wars, make sure to check out that video, and it goes over everything that happened in it. So, I love this series, because they would just keep trolling each other over and over again. I would go to each, each person's channel to see what they did, and then they would make a troll, and keep going back and forth. So, I really love this series, and this is definitely my favorite. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I really appreciate it. If you hit the like button, subscribe. See you guys another time, and goodbye.